Your math teachers have been lying to you for a long time, and today I'm going to show you why. This is a pan balance, and you probably already know how it works. So let's say I put a five gram weight in this side, and I put another five gram weight in this side. Five grams plus five grams should be how much on this side? Well, of course, five plus five is 10 grams. So we'll put a 10 gram weight, and if I did this properly, it should balance. Thankfully, it does. If I was to write that as a numerical equation, it would be five plus five equals 10. Now you know that, you've known that since grade one. Okay, so why have your teachers been lying to you? So let's say I'm going to put 20 grams on this side. All right, so clearly that's 20 grams. The left side is way heavier. What can I put on this side to make that equal? Well, you could probably say, well, I could put another 20 grams, right? Sure I can. That balances, but I'm not gonna put another 20 grams. I'm going to put a 10, a five, and another five. 10 plus 5 plus 5 should equal 20, and if you take a look at balances. So what is the big lie that your teachers have been telling you? The equal sign is not an answer. What the equal sign actually is, is it means one side has the same amount as the other side. So in this equation, it would say 20 equals 10 plus 5 plus 5. So it's not always the answer, math in action. Good morning, Room 14. Today is Thursday, May the 14th, 2020. Hopefully you're watching this before nine o'clock because at nine o'clock this morning, we are going to all join together in a Google Meet to say farewell to Mrs. Dickinson as today is her last day. I'm going to give her all those friendly letters that you wrote, and if you haven't corrected it yet, you can still do so by the end of this week. Today we're going back to math, and I've introduced a brand new unit for each grade. The units are very similar, and it involves solving equations. The pan balance demonstration at the beginning of the video was showing you something about the equal sign. From now on, we need to start remembering that the equal sign doesn't mean an answer. All it means is something that is balanced on either side. I've also included a video from Khan Academy which explains more about the equal sign. Please watch that video. I strongly advise you to take a look at the Google Slides examples that I have included for each grade before you start your assignment. I've assigned four pages of questions to each grade. Each page has 20 questions. Now before you freak out and say, wow, Miss Ma, that is a lot of work. You're right, it is a lot of work, but if you take a look at the equations, particularly for grade four, you'll notice that it's just basic facts. Grade fours, you will have to solve for a symbol, while grade fives, you will have to solve for a letter variable. Grade fives, your assignment is a little bit more difficult, but it's not something that you can't handle. You do not need to write out the questions, I just need the answers. For grade fours, you have to draw the symbol before you put the answer, and for grade fives, you have to put the letter before you put the answer. Please check out my examples on Google Slides. Remember, you do not need to print out these sheets, but if you would like to, you certainly can. All you need is properly formatted graph paper or some line paper to write down your answers. Please make sure you're uploading your attachments before you turn in the assignment. You have one entire week to do those pages. They are not due until Thursday, May the 21st. If you have any questions, please come see me in a Google Meet. It's Division Thursday, and that means another flashcard round. I'm going to flash 10 random division cards, see if you can answer them before they disappear off your screen. Are you ready? Here we go. How many did you get correct? And as always, Room 14, once you're finished with your computers, find Plug and Park. We'll see you tomorrow.